Uh-uh. Okay, this video, like all of my videos, comes from one of two places. I'm either very bored, so I need something to entertain myself, or I'm triggered. And this is the latter. You don't have to excuse me, I gotta talk a little bit quiet, because my wife and daughter are asleep, and I don't want to wake them up. So I did a thing today, I made a post on Reddit, and I sort of kicked the beehive. Not the bees! Ah! I'm my eyes! Like I normally do on Reddit. Uh, and I made a comment. You know, I see a lot of people complaining about being placed with people that are in placement matches. And what I was trying to convey with my post is that if you are being placed with people in placement matches, chances are it's probably because you're not a good player. Hello, darkness, my old... I'm sorry. That's the truth. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but if you're going to complain about it, clearly you want to change that situation that you're in. So the other part of the post was saying, hey, all you've got to do is the bare minimum of watching a tutorial, a guide about macro, watching a streamer, asking questions, anything, right? You just do a little bit, and I promise that you will uh, be able to climb out of that uh, elo range. By the way, you guys like my mug? On the outside, I'm hooting. On the inside, I'm hollering. I like it. We we're also gonna go over the Reddit post. I wanted to I wanted to highlight a few things that are like concerning for me uh, when it comes to some of the re responses or replies that I got on Reddit. Let's see here. Uh, I like this one. A sweaty streamer telling people to get good. This is the equivalent of a rich person telling a poor person just to stop being poor. I am sweaty, as you can see. My sweat is also toxic and corrosive. We've taken the vinyl off of the chair. And there's, it's even stained with my back sweat. Look at that, it's disgusting. <laughs> it's gross. Anyway, this mentality is just wrong. In real life, there are certain things that are literally out of your control. In real life, there are certain things that are literally out of your control. I radiate brilliance. Basically, I guess what I'm trying to say is that the outside factors of like the bad teammates, the people griefing you, all that stuff, Everybody is just so bad that if you just slightly improve, you'll be able to dictate those matches way harder. You have way more influence than the outside factors do on the outcome of that match. So that's the difference between that guy's analogy and how it actually plays out. He said, I, I, don't, I played Smite and Paragon, so I don't need tutorials, is what he said. Right? And then he posted this screenshot. I just want... like. I wanted to post this, or I wanted to at least show this off, because this is like the mindset, I feel like, of most players. He posted this to like showcase like, hey, like I can't win this match because I have three people in placements. But then also, you're going against somebody that's 242 MMR, 321 MMR, 518 MMR. I'm not trying to be mean, but the people that you're playing against don't have fingers, and they don't have eyeballs. But I cannot see I'm legally blind. You say that you played Smite and that you don't need to watch tutorials, but if you're playing at this level, you do need to watch tutorials if you want to improve. This is like you have to actively try to lose games to get to this level. And I think this is the mindset that most people are, that, that, that they're not doing anything wrong. You are doing something wrong. If you're at 700 MMR, you are doing a lot of things wrong. Over again. Wrong. Yeah. So yeah. what can we do yeah. to improve? <laughs> The first thing that I want to make very clear, right, is that this fucking thing is a mini-map. If somebody doesn't ping, this is bad habit number one, being in your own world, not understanding what's happening in the game. If somebody doesn't ping and you die to their gank, ultimately, that's on you. It's a courtesy, they should ping, but if they don't, it is still your fault. You also have eyes. You can see the rotations. You should be... Tr this thing right here... Fuck, I can't... Fuck. It's, it's, it's backwards, sorry. This thing right here, you should treat like a rearview mirror in your car. You should look at it every three to four seconds. If you're playing jungle, you have literally zero excuse not to do this. If you're playing support, you have literally zero excuse not to do this. The other lanes, I can understand. You get tied up and stuff, but as a jungler and as a support player, and just in general, you should look at this thing every three to four seconds. Hip -hop is... Number two is that we want to 
actively hit tab. If you want to improve, hit tab. You want to look at who's strong on the enemy team. And you want to have an idea of who to focus. Enemy and that's pretty easy to do. Seat. Focusing targets. This game, more than likely, the targets that we will be concerned about focusing are Countess and Sparrow. They're the damage dealers of the team. The point is, in a team fight, if you kill the damage first, before they have a chance to kill your damage, you just hard win that fight. Like nine times out of ten. So if you are focusing a tank, you are griefing. If you want to win more games, it's very simple. It's a very easy concept. Stop FFing. Like, you will win more games. You. It is a skill, and it is probably more important to learn how to play from behind than it is to learn how to play from ahead. Playing from ahead is easy. Playing from behind is hard. It, that's a skill you need to learn. You need to actively practice it. Don't FF. If you're low level, don't FF because people make mistakes all the time. And I need you guys to understand that if you're behind, things like bounties exist. If let's say the Sparrow is eight and O, oh, she's got eight kills and zero deaths, right? She's worth over a thousand gold. If you kill her, that's a thousand gold on your team. That's a comeback mechanic. Over, you have to you have to rationalize it in your head. Over a thousand gold, she's actually worth like a thousand three hundred gold. No, that's a lot of gold. That's a lot of gold. That makes a big difference. If you happen to get that gold on your carry, or your mid laner, or like an assassin, that could be what turns the game. Point number four, being within the radius of the turret when it goes down to get the turret gold. I see motherfuckers chase kills to the end of the earth but nobody seems to want to get the gold from the turrets when they fall. You can see the wave is pushed in right here, and he's going to get river buff, and this turret ends up falling to the wave. This is a terrible macro play. This is awful. Stop doing that. Take your turret. Be next to your turret. Turrets are worth money. Get that fucking money. Stop ignoring them. They're worth more than a kill. Treat it like a kill but better. Treat it like a kill, but better. Treat it like a kill, but better. I radiate brilliance. Okay, there's two conditions that need to be met when you decide to do this objective. One of the two. You have to treat it like a checklist. If one of these two conditions is not met, you don't do this. One of the conditions is that you just want a team fight and key members of their team are dead. And now you can do it if you can do it quickly. The second condition is that some of the key members of their team are on the other side of the map and you can do it quickly. That's the only time that you should do this, okay? Some junglers will say, oh, if you have the upgraded smite and they don't have the upgraded smite, you can go ahead and do it. I disagree with that. I think that's still throwing. You don't ever want to force fights on this. You want to do it when you can do it. And just don't do it when you can't do it. It's as simple as that. So many games are thrown by junglers just walking by this and going, Oh, I guess I'll do it. And then they just start it. And then the enemy team collapses on them and they die. Once again, you only start Prime or Raptors if you win a team fight and you can do it quickly after the team fight or they are on the other side of the map and you can do it quickly before they can get there.